For those of you that don't know me, my name is Tammy Eckhoff. I am the kindergarten teacher here at the Lutheran School. This is Mr. Anderson. He is our principal and seventh and eighth grade teacher here at the school. Um, we're just going to very briefly go through and give you a little demonstration of what the kids have learned so far this year. Um, because of the incoming weather, I probably won't go quite as in-depth what I normally would. I tend to ramble. Um, but we'll at least give you a little peek at what the kinders have developed and learned this year in this classroom. Uh, this is the current kindergarten class. We have seven in kindergarten this year. Sometimes we're self-contained, sometimes we're dual-level kindergarten to first grade. This year we were all by ourselves and I got spoiled rotten. So did your kids. So with um, that, we will go ahead and begin. We would like you to stand up and say the Apostles' Creed with us. Now, before we start, I will tell you that almost everything that we do in our classroom has a little jingle or a little dance or an action or something. It's all got a little extra. So uh, with our Apostles' Creed, we do have actions that we do with it. So we will do those along as we speak the Apostles' Creed.
comprehension skills. We also talk about the main characteristics of the story. Um, we also talk about all of the clues that we see in the story that help us to figure out whether it's an asking sentence or a telling sentence. And there's always clues that give us more things to learn about the story. So, Blake, can you look at the, look at the first sentence for me on your story? What end mark is that? A plain old period. What does a plain old period do? It tells us something. It tells us something. What's the fancy name for a plain old telling sentence? A declarative sentence. A declarative sentence. Awesome. You may sit down. A truck truck. Drive the truck to town. Do not make a jerk. And swirl, stop it, think, by the curve, curve, and knock on the dirt. We must slow down on the
business. He cannot see the nuts. If snow is on the ground, he must look now. So can you tell me where your story happened? Maybe in the woods. Maybe in the woods, okay. Why do you think that? Because there's trees and rocks. Trees and rocks, very good. Very good. Talk about 
about time. Um, obviously, we talk about addition and subtraction facts, but we also just talk about numbers in general and how we use them every day in our life. Um, so this is one of our programs that we use all throughout the year. Each, as we go, we add more and more slides to our program. Um, but as we get to this part of the year, we're supplementing it in with some other activities that are more hands-on and active in the classroom. This is something that we do on the smart board in the classroom, so it's very interactive. And it's fun for the kids, and it's fun for me. We have jingles that we go through with our addition and subtraction facts. Um, how about we do our doubles? I know we didn't talk about it, but how about if we do our doubles? Okay, so put your book down and stand up. Let's do our doubles. Ready? Two plus two. Two plus four. Three plus three. Six. One plus four. Thank you, guys. 